Welcome, Welcome to History at Newhouse Academy. Hi, I'm Mr Pye, I'm Head of History here at Newhouse Academy and I just want to introduce you to our history team. Hi, I'm Mr Swindles, welcome to Newhouse Academy. I hope to see you all soon. Hi, I'm Mr Duffy. I'm sorry you couldn't be with us here this year. I'm looking forward to welcoming you next year. Take care. So here at Newhouse Academy in History, we study a wide range of topics. We start off uh, with 1066 and the Norman Conquest. We have a look at Britain pre-1066 in this module before moving on to the Battle of Hastings and why William became King of England. We then move on to the medieval realms where we look at medieval attitudes, we look at how people lived in this period, what their religious beliefs were, what, what their lives were like and what the key factors were in this period that influenced their lives. We then move on to the Tudors where we look at Tudor religious changes, Henry VIII and the Reformation and what impact that had on future monarchs in England. We look at life in Tudor England. What was it like for ordinary people? How did things change from the medieval period? We then look at the English Civil War at the end of year seven and just look at how England for the first time in its history went without a king or queen and then the monarchy was restored. In year eight, we look at the British Empire. We look at how overseas Britain became one of the greatest powers in the world. We then look at the slave trade and slavery. Why it's important for us to remember such a, a dark chapter of our history. We then look at the French Revolution. We look at how Europe was hit by an age of revolutions at this, in this period. Before moving on to our own revolution, the Industrial Revolution, and how Britain became the modern superpower it is today. We then finish off year eight by looking at the suffragettes. We look at how the fight for women's equality grew over this period between roughly 1850 and the mid 20th century. In year nine, we look at World War I. We look at the, how warfare changed Britain and how this was a new age for Europe and the changes that lay ahead in the 1920s. We look at dictators in Europe. Hitler's rise to power, how it was possible for Hitler to come to power and how this then caused World War II, which is our next topic. We then look at the very important topic of the Holocaust and we get our students to think about why we as human beings should not allow an event like this to ever happen again and how it can shape our futures. We then finish off year nine in Key Stage 3 by looking at America since World War II and we look at things like civil rights, and we look at how America developed and changed as a society to the country it is today. At GCSE, we follow the Educash specification, where we look at Elizabeth I, we look at Germany in transition, so Germany between the world wars, followed up by the development of America between 1929 and 2000, finishing off with health and medicine. We'd love for you to come on this journey with us in history and hope to see you in September.